Okay, so we are not making apple butter this year, so I'm going to show you how to make apple butter this year. Um, come on over here and you can look at the apples. This apple here is a sweet tango, but I usually use green apples off of my tree. So whatever apples you use, you can just slice them up like this. Um, you don't have to remove the skins. That's a wonderful part of using the crock pot. So come on over to the crock pot. You'll want to chop up uh, nine cups of apples. And just so you know, I usually double this recipe. So that makes 18 cup of, cups of apples if they're going to fit in the crock pot. So come over to the crock pot. Should be totally full. This is not apples. This is chicken. Because <laughs> we're having people over for dinner tonight. So, once you get your crock pot full of apples, you'll want to add the sugar. A double recipe will call for four cups of sugar. Four cups of sugar. A half a cup of cider vinegar. Uh, let's see. Three teaspoons of cinnamon. <laughs> But I'm thinking you might want to add more cinnamon. And uh, two tablespoons of ground cloves. Right. You throw all that stuff into the crock pot. And then you let it cook on low overnight. Then you wake up in the morning. The house smells wonderful. You get your hand blender out. And you just open up the crock pot. And you blend it with the hand blender. Now, I wanted to show you this in a video <laughs> because I didn't want you to ask Lynn. <laughs> Keep going. About a hand. <laughs> so, this is a hand 